also say that there's no plan to ever retire any of that debt. It's not amortized. We're not paying off. We're not reducing the amount of federal debt ever. And we haven't, in 1942, when we sold victory bonds and liberty bonds, when those bonds came due 30 years later in 1972, we just rolled them over. In 2002, when they came due again, we rolled them over again. So it's just like having a mortgage on a house that you never pay off. You're always paying the bank or interest on the mortgage on the house. For 100 years, you're going to pay, or 1,000 years or 10,000 years, you're going to be paying the banker interest on the house. You never get to own the house. And that's one of the other parts about the magnitude, the scale of this incredible folly that we're engaged in. You don't understand. The average person doesn't understand the magnitude of the debt, doesn't understand the magnitude of the damage being done to them by the president and the Democrat Congress. And it's important, it's critically important for people to understand that this is not, you know, it's not accidental, it's not, you know, just incompetence. It's a deliberate strategy to ruin this economy permanently. You know, it, 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 that, well, it, it, it's an act so incompetent as to be deliberate is the way I would phrase it. But, you know, how are you going to get out of, if you run up, you know, if you have eight years of Obama and he runs a trillion and a half dollar deficit every one of those eight years, that's 12 trillion new dollars. So he alone, every president before him ran up a total of 13 trillion. He runs up 12 trillion on his own. So then the federal debt's 25 trillion, and then the interest on the debt is a trillion and a half bucks a year. What do you do at the point when the biggest thing on the budget is interest on the debt? 